need to capture a full web page screenshot without having to stitch images together? Here's how. Okay, so you've got a web page that you need to take a screenshot of, but you need the whole web page so that you can direct your students to different parts of the website and not just the visible part on the screen. So you use the snipping tool on a PC or the screen capture shortcut on a Mac and you take multiple screenshots of the website. You then need to bring all of those into an image editor. You need to stitch them together, blend them, crop them and make sure everything lines up, which is a massive time suck. Well, with this Chrome extension, you can take a full web page screenshot and not just the visible part, all in one click. Here's how it's done. Just Google Fireshot Chrome extension and choose this result, and then click the Add to Chrome and the Add extension buttons. You should see the Fireshot logo appear in your extensions bar. If you don't, just click the extensions button at the top right of your screen and then use the pin feature to pin it to your extensions bar. So let's say that we're teaching fashion or graphic students about effective web layout for fashion websites. We could head over to the ID Magazine website and then we can click the Fire Shot button in the Extensions panel and choose Capture Entire Page. It takes just a few seconds to work through the page before you get a preview image of the screen capture. You can now save it as an image or a PDF and you can email it, copy it to the clipboard or print it. We'll save ours as an image. So now that we've got the screenshot, we can import it into an image editor like Photoshop or PowerPoint. We'll use PowerPoint. But before we do that, if you're finding value in this video, then please hit the subscribe button below. Okay, we want to direct the students to various elements of the captured web page. So we insert our screenshot by clicking Insert and Pictures, this device, and navigate to our screenshot. The image is long and thin, so we need to select it and drag the corners to increase its scale it's probably wise to zoom out as much as you can. Keep your eye on the slide preview here to ensure the image is positioned how you want it to be. Once you've got your first slide positioned where you want, select the slide in the preview bar and press Ctrl and D to duplicate the slide. Now reposition this slide to the next section of the site you want. Duplicate this slide and move it again. Repeat this process as many times as you need. To create a smooth animation between the slides so that it looks like you're scrolling through the website, select all of the slides in the slide preview panel, then choose Transitions and Morph. And now we can preview the effect by choosing the Slideshow button. And you can see how we've created a scrolling effect on the site. The Fireshot extension is really useful for helping you to create handouts, video explainers, blended learning tasks, and for explaining web concepts. So if you found this video useful, please give it a like. And again, don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell. And I'll see you again for another Tuesday Tech Tip.